So, and we're back with uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. Um, this is, uh, I have to say, I have tried this one. This was a, this was a blind buy for me. Um, I have heard a lot of, of it, but I wasn't really sure what it is. And this is a hard pumping game. Um, if you need really a game that's getting faster and faster, and um, keeping on uh, you on your edge and your toes, then definitely give, give this one a try. Um, it's a, a really fantastic soundtrack, and it's uh, I, I really love the design of it. Um, and if you're a Pac-Man fan, um, I would say check it out. It's it's really fun. So let's see if we can do the 10-minute uh, challenge uh, in yeah 10 minutes if we survive or if we die. So. And I will tell you this one, I won't talk a lot about uh, in, in this segment because I will have to, to really concentrate on, on, this, uh, on this game and to try not to die a lot. I think you can see what I mean when I say this one uh, is very fast. Um, the idea is, is really to um, to gather a lot of points like Pac-Man, and um, yeah, I try to get all these ghosts behind me just to get them in one single swoop. They will normally only follow you, and um, if you get a pallet, then yeah, you can get them all and rack up a lot of points in just one go. And yes, there are different kinds of those. Um, some will follow you directly, some have to home into you, like the red ones. And here I have slept. And you can use bombs between. I know I've somewhere fucked up at the moment. I'm not sure what I did wrong now, but I totally lost it at this point. I have to get back on track. Somewhere I fucked up in this in this case, and I have no idea where. And again, I fucked. It's, it's getting... Uh, it, it, even if it... Uh, I know it, how it looks and believe me, this game is getting faster and faster in, in so many so many ways, but it's, it's a very... It's, it's a very fun fast, so... But you have to try to control it and that's... That's the part that's getting harder and harder with every... with every turn. Now we're back to beginning.
and I fucked up. Where, where am I, Andrew? And now you see what I mean. Ah, fuck. I know some people say this one can be... it's, it's very good to play with airlocks, but to be honest, this is, a, this, is, this is one I really, really say, if you can play it, play it with the D-pad. Uh, you have a lot more of control <laughs> with it. Even if it doesn't look that way, um, believe me. This doesn't mean I uh, wouldn't uh, recommend playing it with uh, with an uh, analog uh, with an analog stick, but I think a lot of people will get problems with it very quickly because. The more speed you get up in this one, the more complicated it gets. And I think a lot of people will have problems with me following already. Again, I think it's a game you have you have to play to understand how freaking amazing and and uh, extreme it, it really is. And again, I, I have totally lost, no, lost, lost the overview of where I am now. I have to try to get to get back on track. You can you can get very very quickly lost. Uh, the, the problem the, uh, the the overall playing field is is is, is keeping the same, but. The, the faster you, you get in this, the faster the game gets, the more you lose it. Um, it's, it's very hard to explain, but I think a lot of people can already see what I mean when they're just trying to watch what's going on on my screen. <laughs> and I lost it, just because I ha don't have any more bombs. And you can follow how the game speed changes over over time um, by just following the yeah, I'm really I'm really sorry that I'm I'm really not talking much about this game. But It's very hard. You have to concentrate in, in this case. Uh, because you want to survive. You want you want the high points. You want to get the, every bonus you can you can see and to change to the next playing field. Really, no idea uh, how good I am at the moment, or even if I if I still have it. <laughs> I'll 
Give me a minute to go. I used that bomb too early and now I have I don't have any more left. <laughs> Let's hope we can at least get the last things <laughs> over with. seconds to go. Hey, not bad. My last high score was somewhere by 2.7 million. Uh, 2.6, I take it. <laughs> I really take it. Yeah, um, if you never have played it, um, I know how this this game on, on the first hand looks, but believe me, if you're if you're a fan of these very very fast uh, reflex kind of games, um, definitive definitive check this one out. I think this is this is very often on Steam sales, and um, you can you can get it very cheap, and it's worth every really every cent you can uh, you can um, invest in it. It's. If you like these kind of, of very, of very, very extremely um, extreme games, <laughs> let's say it this way, um, there are a lot of modifiers in there, so um, you will have a lot of fun just changing the playing field, ch changing the way it works, and uh, yeah, just to, to try to get a high score, to get a, a bigger high score than your um, your friends, um, or just try to get a, a very high score to uh, beat in the uh, online challenges. Um, Again, a very fascinating game. Um, it might not look like it, but um, I am not sure how good the camera will record this one um, because it is very, very fast. And like I said, I haven't really talked a lot of, uh, through this one because you have to concentrate to get... Uh, the higher the speed gets, the more concentration you, you need to uh, really not fuck it royally up um, like I did in so many ways. I haven't played it for so quite some time, but um, I, s I, th I think I, I still have some, uh <laughs> some reflexes left for this one. So, yeah. Um, this was Pac-Man uh, Championship Edition DX Plus and uh, see you in the next segment in a minute.